Okay, hello everyone. Um, so if you're like me and you like to build like machine learning models, um, you're often looking for more inputs um, for like stock market data, you know, something to get the edge and kind of like push the machine learning model forward. Um, and I thought that the CNN fear index would be a good input for that. Um, so like you'd say you want to know if the day was extreme fear, fear, greed, extreme greed. Um, but you know, in order to build a model, we need like the historical values of this. We need some like some sort of data set to get. Um, and so on the CNN website, you can go and see like a plot of the historical data, but there's no way to like download that data, right? But we can still get it. Um, so I'm using Google Chrome. Um, you can probably do this, you know, a similar fashion um, using other web browsers. I just don't know exactly the method. So I'm just going to right click and select inspect and this will bring up this window here and what we're interested in is the network tab and so you can see like all the requests that this site is making right so i'm just going to refresh the page so just let it do its thing make all these calls um, let it settle down and then we're going to click timeline here so we're going to shift over like the timeline view and you'll see it popped up like two um calls that I just did with today's date, which is October 30th. Um, and we're looking for the one that has blah, 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 fear and greed, graph data, and then it has today's date. So like, if I just copy and paste this URL into another browser, you can see that it returns like JSON format data for like today. It says, you know, like what was it's, it, what we're interested in here is like the, the fear and greed index score, right? And it says like that was extreme fear. So to get the historical data, all you need to do is change like the date. So let's say I wanted everything from five months ago as well. So I'll change that to 2023, 05.30, hit enter. And it's gonna take, like it'll just return all the JSON data. Um, so I'll get all of the fear agreed index data from five months ago until today. Um, and that's all you need to do to get it in like JSON format. But like, so now if we actually want to like use that and digest it, I'm going to hop into R and kind of show you how to get that into there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to copy that URL and then I'm going to hop into R. I'm just going to save that object right away. So I'm just going to call it get URL. Um, so I'll just call it that. Boom. Um, these are the two packages we're going to use. Um, so if you don't know how to install packages, if you don't have these already, um, just go up to tools, hit install packages. It'll pop up a little window and then you can say, you know, well, I need HTTR. So I'm going to look at HTTR and boom. Um, so next, or like that, that's our URL right there. So next we want to like force R to like make a call to that URL, right? So let's just call it test get. And we're going to say HTTR. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing that we're using the package here. You just say get. So we want this one and our get URL. And so if I do that, <clears throat> we get this object over here. So it returns an object for us. It's you know got some nonsense in there. Um, so we can see if this was a success. If we just go test get, and then we look within that into all the stuff it returned. And we say, what was the status code? So let's run that and we get a 200 here. And that's good. That's what we want. Uh, a status code 200 is like a success code. Um, so that's good. And now to get this, to get everything like in a digestible format, like we, we just want like a data frame, right? Um, so the first thing we need to do is convert the content that was returned to just like raw character. What we're going to do is just say that we'll, we'll just call it test car is equal to, and then we're going to use the function raw to car. And then we'll go into our test get object and we're going to put that, we're going to use this function on the content and we'll run that and boom. So like it basically, um, if I'll just kind of show here, um, it just returned, it put everything to character format. So like it took everything that was in that page that we went to in the URL and put it into character format. And now we just want to turn that into JSON format, right? So we're going to say test JSON is equal to JSON light. And then from JSON test car, if we do that, now we have our test JSON here. So now it's in the format that we want it 
um, we can access, you know, let's just look what it, what's all in here actually. So let's go test JSON, boom. Um, so now we can see like everything that we grabbed um, historically. And what we're interested in is the fear and greed historical. So let's do that. And then let's look what's in there and there's data. So like that is what we actually want. So let's just, I don't know, let's call it DF is equal to blah, 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 data. And now if we come into here, um, so X is the, I think I believe this is like the Unix timestamp. So you can convert that to an actual date if you want to. And the Y values are um, what the fear and green index was on those days, right? And then the rating is just turning that into like, what what is this number classified um, as, and it's like the CNN gauge. Um, and that's it. So to convert those into an actual date, let's just go ahead and say DF date is equal to as pause. And then we're going to say DF X and we're going to divide that by a thousand um, because it was in milliseconds. Um, and we're going to say the origin is equal to 1970. 0101. I, th I believe that's because that's how Unix time works. I, I'm not entirely sure, but you know, you could find all these things on Stack Overflow as well. That's how I found how to convert this back to an actual date. Um, so, boom, DF date, run that. So now if I come here, you can see that um, our first date gathered here is 2023.05.30, just like um, we specified in our URL. And the last one here is uh, well the 27th i was very confused for a moment and then i realized it's the weekend so the weekends will be skipped um but that's okay um and there you go we have all of our data here um and we're free to use this however we want put this into your back testing models put it in your machine learning models um and have fun with it yeah um and thank you guys for watching um if you found it useful please like and subscribe um, and that's it. I'll see you next time.